Hey you guys, so we are in my bathroom right now. I am going to be showing you guys my makeup collection today. I promised you guys in my last video that this was going to be the one I film next. Yeah, so my makeup collection um, is in my bathroom. It's not really where I would like it to be. I would love it for me to be in my room, but um, I'm still trying to figure out how I want to rearrange my furniture so I can get it in there because I like to apply my makeup with like natural lighting because it's um, a lot easier and it's more precise. For the time being, this is where it's going to be. The way I have it set up and um, the storage that I have is exactly what I've always wanted my makeup to be. Not, um, maybe not in a few years, maybe not in a month or so, but for the time being, this is how I've always pictured my makeup to be. And yeah, a little disclaimer um, before like every video like this. I'm not bragging about my makeup collection. I am not trying to be a show off. Um, this is what I love. I love makeup and I love um, I love everything that goes into it, the tools and the itself and I, that's what I do. I collect it. Um, so I don't want anyone to be offended if you guys are. I suggest that you not watch this video, but I know that these videos are very highly requested. Um, and they were for my last giveaway that you guys show me that you guys asked to see my makeup collection. So longer intro than needed, but I just wanted to put that out there. So let's move on over to my makeup. So to start off, um, this is my makeup collection. This is the Alex storage from Ikea. This is a very popular storage unit. And I thought it was funny while I was buying it. My mom was like, oh, Alex, Alex, that's so funny. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of why I like it. But yeah, this is the basic, um, this is the taller one of the collection, and it has nine drawers. The first five are smaller, and then as you go down, they get bigger, which is really nice because I use more of the smaller ones than I do the larger ones. Um, so yeah, and I will put this all in the description box, like how much it is, where you can get it. I'll even put the link if you guys want. Um, but yeah, this is it, and let's move on to the top. Okay, so first to start off, this is the top of my makeup collection or drawer, I guess you can say. I keep all my perfumes in this little um, glass mirrored tray that I got from Hobby Lobby. And usually they're like 50% off. So I got this for like $12.99, which is really, really nice because it was like $30 to begin with. Well, $25, but whatever. You get what I mean. So um, I have just all my perfumes to just do a basic I have like my Victoria's Secret, my Coach Poppy, my Victor or my Britney Spears Fantasy. I have some from Birch Boxes that I've gotten. I got my Sweet Pea, um Pure Seduction, Peach Sparkle, Pink, Burberries in the back. So yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. I don't really buy a lot of perfumes, you guys, because I'm not one to have like different scents for nighttime and springtime and whatever like that. So Moving over here, I keep my Urban Decay Slick Dislick over here just because it's something that I'm get, grabbing all the time um, and I don't feel like digging it out of a drawer and it's so tall that it doesn't fit in the smaller drawers. So I just keep it up here, you know, and I have my little Kabuki brush back here um, because it's just easier to grab once again than digging it through it in my, mush, my brushes back there. Moving over to behind my perfumes, I keep all my palettes. So uh, these two, this one is from Barnes & Noble, and I want to say it was like $10, and then, or no, this one was from Staples, because it's the bigger one, and that was $7.99, and the smaller one over here is from Barnes & Noble's, and it was $10. Um, I just have like my BH Cosmetics, my Smashbox, another Smashbox, um, my Basics palette from Naked, or from Urban Decay, my two Naked palettes, one and two, I just got number two, and I'm really excited to start using it. Um, this Beauty Gem Change It. This thing is really cool. Chris's mom got this for me. And basically, if you, it's really good, it's really nice for traveling because there's three diff, there's three different things. And instead of taking this whole thing, it has its own compartment so you can switch them out. It's really, really cool. And then I have my e.l.f. like 180 color whatever, 80 color, something like that palette and I absolutely love that. That was what my first ever makeup palette and I love it because of all the different colors. In front of my palettes I have my three Butter Londons on Jasper, Trout Pout, and 
tart with a heart. That's the glitter one. So yeah, I love these. The reason I have them up here is because they're my most expensive ones and I like love them. So I'm always trying to grab for them um, so I get my most out of them. I have my my five EOS lip balms. I really want to um, clean out one of my candle holders and put all these in here because they're starting to get a little smushed. Um, and put them like over on my my thing over here. My my whatever, my shelf. And so yeah, but um, I will link um, Caitlin's video down below on how to do that because I mean like I'm going to do a video on it but for the time being it won't be for a while. But um, I'll just link hers down below of how she does it and what she uses hers for. It's a really cool video. I will just link it down below. Way back here are my brushes. I have these really, really cute um, holders from Ikea. They were $3.99. They're the exact same size. And then I got plant filler, which, excuse me, brushes, are just these little beads. And I fill them with that. It's really easy. It's what Sephora uses. If you guys ever want to know, they use plant filler to do their little little gems or whatever. I keep my face brushes in this one and then I keep all my like eye brushes over here. Um, I know my brushes are really dirty right now, please excuse that, I have to clean them. So yeah, um, just generally I buy e.l.f. brushes because I like the quality of them. Some people don't, I do, they work really nice. I just invested in a um, Real Techniques brush, this is their powder brush and I'm like obsessed with it. It makes me want to go buy the whole entire set so yeah, and then I just have like some random eye brushes over here that everything from Smashbox to Urban Decay to Elf and Dollar Store, you know, Target brand type thing. So I, my brushes really range and I don't know if I said it already, but these were like $2.99 or $3.99 at Ikea. And if I can find them online, I will link them down below because they're really nice and they're, they're metal and everything. So I really, 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 really like them. And how can I forget, I have my beautiful mirror back here. This is just a um, standard two mirror, um, one side's regular and one side's magnified, like 10% or what, 10 times or whatever. I really like that. I don't use it as much as I would like to, but if, like I told you guys in the intro, um, if I could get this moved out into my room, I would use that a ton, ton more. Moving on to my first drawer, these are all my lip products. Chris created this um, kind of unit for my lipsticks and lip glosses because um, I saw a video online where they had them and I was like obsessed with them and I also sat on a blog so I will link both of those down in the down bar but um, yeah I just kind of categorize them by brand so I have like first off I have my baby lips and then I have like all my Burt's Bees and then some random lip glosses over here um, pretty sure oh you can't see them but these ones are like my fresh ones I'm pretty sure the other, no, the other one's in there. And then I have just some more lipstick, or lip, uh, chapsticks, gosh. Then, um, right here I have a wet, some Wet n' Wilds. This is a Revlon, I don't know why it's there. I think I moved it on accident. But these are all my, um, Wet n' Wilds, and I absolutely love these. Next up, I have all my Revlon, so I have some, uh, lip butters and some regular lipsticks that I just love. CoverGirl is next, um... I don't wear a lot of my CoverGirl lipsticks besides like hot, um, or is that flame? No, that's hot. But yeah, and then moving back here, NYC and some, these are two NYC. This is a Sally Hansen, I have a Victoria's Secret, a Sephora, and then back here are my, like, my ones that I use like the most and my more expensive ones. So I have my L'Oreal Color Caress, whatever, you guys have talked me, heard me talk about these. Um, so I have another L'Oreal, I have my three MAC lipsticks, and then I have my uh, Mary Kay, another Mary Kay, and then this is my newest one. This is my new NYX lip gloss, that I, or lipstick that I just hauled. I don't have another lip, NYX lipstick, so it's just kind of a loner back there. Next up, I have my, like, I don't really know how to explain this to you guys. It's just my more, like, makeup-y items, I guess you can say. I have all my mascaras in here. I have my blushes, my bronzers, my, like smaller palettes I guess you can say and then I have like a bronzer down here I have my eyelash curler and then I have this little tart basket that I got like in a gift or something so yeah I got this one this one this one oh I got all these actually from Walmart these three were in a pack 
together and they were like $1.34 and then I got two of these for $1.34 so they're really really inexpensive um to go in a little bit more detail I have mascaras that like my covergirl one my lash extender tons of covergirl I have a tarte mascara Maybelline blush wise I just got my new NYX one and actually these two actually don't fit in this one I'm highly considering getting one like this to go in here or I'm going to swap these out I'm not really sure yet, but um, like I have a MAC, my new cream NYX blush, I have two Tarte, I have a cream blush from Maybelline, which I love, I have another MAC one, this is kind of junky, and then down over here I have my one, two, three, four, five, five e.l.f. Um, blushes, which I'm like obsessed with, and then right here are my two like highlighters, so I'm pretty sure I have another one somewhere, but I'm not seeing it, so it might be in my makeup bag or something. I pulled this out and zoomed in a little bit so you guys could see it better. These are my bronzers, and I actually have one blush bag here because it wouldn't fit in this one, like I said, and then, um, so I have my Victoria's Secret bronzer. This is a really cool one. This is like the, um, and then you push it up to close it type thing. I loved this when I was in high school. Um, I have a stick underneath there. My uh, Physician's Formula, CoverGirl, L'Oreal, Tarte. But the one I use the most is my NYC Sunny Bronzer. This stuff is like magic. I love it. It's like $2.99. So inexpensive. Um, and I keep these like kind of push back here because I'm so pale right now you guys that I can't really wear bronzer and this is the one that only really matches me once I get a little darker um, I'm gonna be using my tart one which is kind of suctioned back there and I can't get it but yeah so I just kind of keep these back here but keep sunny reachable because it's the only one that really matches my skin tone right now right here I have my kind of like my palettes that are like smaller ones so I have this really cool one. It says the color workshop and it just opens like this and it has all these colors and it has colors underneath. Like it's really cool. I got it at CVS for like five bucks. Um, I have my new NYX natural palette which I'm going to be doing a tutorial on because someone had requested it and I thought it was really cool because I haven't done a tutorial in quite some time. Um, so I'll be doing this. I've been kind of playing around with it. I used it today for the banquet that I went to and yeah. Um, and then over here, this one actually doesn't have a top. I bought this forever ago. This is possibly one of my absolute favorite palettes. Um, it's so weird. It was like a dollar. The colors are so pigmented. And I wish I could find another one. I, to be honest, I think this is like an LA color one. Which, I'm going to have to go find another one. Um, this is also none of my favorite palettes. This is the e.l.f. like day to night, I want to say. Yeah, this is the Day to Night palette, and I love it because this color up here at the top is a dupe for Satin Taupe, which is kind of awesome because this is only a dollar. Um, moving on, I have like a baked collection from Physician's Formula, which is three little baked colors. I have my Glamour X um, little palette with, I think there's two colors in this. Yeah, there's just two. I have to fill it with more. Um, a NYX. No, that's not NYX. That's... NYC. These are Wet n Wild. I have some ones that like my first makeup ever. Yeah. So yeah. And then, oh, this was, um, I did a tutorial with this one forever ago, this Prestige. Um, I still use this sometimes, but not as much as I would like to. Moving on to my third drawer and possibly like the last drawer that I keep like most of my main makeup. Um, I store all my foundations, my cream, like my Big jumbo eye pencils, eyeliners, and lip pencils, my powders, my single eyeshadows, as well as my concealers, and then over here I keep my little brow kit. So, because I really don't know where to put that. So to start off with the biggest container in here, I keep all my foundations. On this side, I keep my BB cream. So I have like my CoverGirl, my other CoverGirl one, my Tarte, um, L'Oreal, Maybelline, Elf. I've been using my Cover One Girl the most lately just because it's getting warmer out and I don't want to have like a big foundation on so it just keeps it a little lighter. Um, right here I have like two smaller ones so like this one is my Mary Kay, this one is Smashbox and then over here I have my bigger found like my foundations. Um, I have everything from my Rimmel Match Perfection to my Naked to um, a 10 day sample of the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow from uh, Benefit. I have, oh God, there's like so many. I have Maybelline, CoverGirl, CoverGirl, or Revlon, Revlon, and then another one from Rimmel, Clean Fresh. And I know that that's a lot of foundations to have for one person, but I 
either like I tan a lot during the winter months just because sometimes one it helps with the color and two um, in Michigan it is like miserable during the winter because it's snowing so much that I go tanning to help me like feel better I guess you can say so yeah I keep a lot of different foundations just so I don't have to keep buying ones that match like my tone and stuff like that. so yeah um, but for right now if I do use a foundation I'm using my Rimmel um, Match Perfection as well as my Nearly Naked um, these are a little different because if I do tan a lot, I'm using my Revlon Nearly Naked, and then if I'm not, like I am right now, I'm using my Revlon Match Perfection, and then I got my little Beauty Blender, which needs to be washed, which is sad because I just washed it, and it technically is clean, but it stains so much, so... Yeah, I got to get one of those Beauty Blender cleaners. Moving over, um, this this is the only non-white bin, and I need to get another one. But um, I keep all my gel eyeliners. Um, my Mica one is my absolute favorite at the moment. I have my two Ulta ones. I have one in plum and then one in black. And then I just keep some of my, like, jumbo eye pencils for, like, a base and everything. And then I have all my lip and eyeliners back here. I got everything from gel to pencil to the retractable ones, whatever. But yeah, this is just for mainly for um, eyes and lips. Moving on to this one, um, this is where I keep all my pressed powders. I don't. I have a loose powder, but that is in a separate bin right now for another video that I'm doing. So I have my Sephora one, which is like totally hit pan. I hate it. Hate that it's like that. Um, my Dream Mat. My Neutrogena, which is also hit a little bit of the pan. I have my Revlon Nearly Naked, which is like my favorite at the moment. And I have one more back there, and it's the Physician's Formula Organic one. But I like hardly ever use that because it's a little too dark for my skin. But yeah, this one, my Dream Mat, and my Revlon Nearly Naked are the ones that I'm using the most currently. Next up, I have all my single eyeshadows. This ranges from my NYX to Tarte. The, some of these are creams. Like my Tarte one and then like my color tattoos, I have three of those. I have a Mary Kay. This is an iced cocoa. This is like one of my favorites like a year ago. And then this one is the Ulta whipped cream one, and which I really like that. But those dry out so quick. They're like the MAC paint pots. Like they dry out so quick. I, am, I have on the side right here my Mary Lou Matinizer. Um, this is another dupe for... Satin Taupe, which is Nutty from Wet n Wild. Um, my mineral, mineral, Mineralism, which is my newest MAC eyeshadow, which I haven't used a lot, but I, it's kind of like a different color. Um, and then I just have a ton of different little eyeshadows back here um, that I don't use, but I use like my NYX and my Tarte and my newest, eye, newest one from this one right here like barely branded from the color tattoo, which is a really pretty like cream color, so. And the last compartment in this drawer are my concealers. Um, when I say concealers, I kind of, not only concealers, but I have like most of my primers in here. So my newest one is my Maybelline Age Rewind. Um, if you guys want me to do like kind of like a comparison between this one and the Smashbox one because they are very similar and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on them. Let me know. Um, I have most of my like, how do I say this? Most of my concealers are samples from Sephora because they gave me so much of them that I just haven't been able to use them up. So the first one is my um, eye primer which is Eden from Urban Decay. I have two of the pay, Erase Paste from Benefit. This one is in number two, and this is in number one. I am for sure number one. This one was way too dark for me. Pixie, Too Faced. Um, oh, and then I have my Lemonade back here, which I like love. This is for perfect for um, redness. And then I just have a bunch of other concealers, like my Rimmel Wake Me Up, my Urban Decay Primer Potion, my Tarte Maracuja primer, just I have a bunch of them in here, and then I have my like my newest NYX concealer. So yeah, I just kind of keep these all in the same place because they do most of the same purpose, and they're like before you know they're prepping for all the makeup that's about to be applied. The fourth drawer is kind of a combination of things. Um, this holds excess nail polish as well as my longer, non able to fit lipsticks or lip glosses. Um, most what I try and do 
is I try and put the ones that I'm using the most on top so I don't have to dig through all of them. And then I try and put the ones that I don't use as much down at the bottom, like a Wet n Wild, like lip glosses that I just I don't use anymore. So I just can kind of grab and go type ordeal. Um, I do not know where I got this bin. It's really old. So this one is from the dollar store. No, this is from Walmart. This one is from the dollar store. Um, these hold just all my nail polishes that can't fit in my storage right now. What I'm thinking about doing is converting this into a another nail polish holder, which I will show you guys next drawer, but uh, I'm not really certain right now. I have a bunch of my samples back here, as well as eyelashes, and as well as my two um, martini or nail teeny nail teeny nail polishes and my two julep nail polishes I have all my nails that I do my own nails with and then I have like um, my Essie's matte me matte nice whatever matte nail polish and I have a Neutrogena beach defense sun and water it's like a sunscreen type thing I don't know it was cool when I got it, but I haven't really used it because I don't live anywhere near a beach right now. So yeah, um, this drawer is not very exciting. I'm still trying to think if I want to like convert it to what I'm gonna show you guys next. But let me let me know once you see the next one if I should or not. So on to drawer number five. This holds some <laughs> some of my nail polishes. Chris once again made these little compartments for each individual nail polish. I gave him a Sally Hansen big one like this because those are my biggest nail polishes and he just basically made all these little compartments um, with the video that I showed him. Um, I have these in color coordination. I don't do it by brand because I have so many brands that it's like not even worth it. So I have reds, pinks, yellows, oranges, greens, blues, purples, and then like some sheer ones or whites and blacks. Um, this is just the most efficient to me. I have three rows behind it that I can't get to, which kind of sucks because I would love the extra space to put all those nail polishes in, but I just kind of, I don't know what to do because I cannot, like, I cannot reach back there to get a nail polish out, so. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if I should do this organization tip to this drawer because I guess I can move it around. I just, I don't know. You guys, you just let me know. The fifth drawer is where I keep most of my hair care products, like, or my hair styling tools. Um, I have my brushes, my curling iron, my blow dryer. I have my two little straightener pads or curling pads that if it gets too hot um, and I have to leave, I just slip them in there and they're okay to put in my bag and everything. I have some little cl chip clips, my freak, clean freak dry shampoo so yeah I just have like everything here it's like the mo it's like the messiest drawer and my curling iron or my straightener is right here so yeah this needs to go in here but it's not because I was, I was straightening my hair so yeah basically this is the messiest drawer because I am always in it and there is like no point in organizing it the seventh drawer in my collection is kind of a different one um, this includes all like my travel size or smaller size items um, shampoos, conditioners, body washes, um, face, my proactive, I have like some lotions, I have some face cleansers, um, razors, hair related things, um, and then I keep all my little, my glam bags back here as well as in the way back there, that little blue, that's where I keep like all the like shampoos that are in those little plastic thing so yeah this drawer is just kind of random this next drawer you guys is kind of my love-hate drawer um, this is everything that if I go to the store and I don't use it right away it goes in this drawer so I talked to you guys how if I how like if like I always need to have something like back up of one of my main products because I don't like going days without it so yeah, this is what this drawer is. So I have like a my Tresemme deep, uh, like my deep conditioner. I guess I have my Macadamia one. I bought this though, um, just in case. Like I don't know. I just want to try it. Face wipes. Um, I have some baby lips over here. I have shaving cream, mousse. I have an extra mascara. If my hair needs a touch up, I have um, dye. And then below that is a Redkins like 
treatment, I guess. I don't know. I got it for a graduation gift from my best friend. Um, shaver heads. Shavers are somewhere. Those might be up here. Those are up here. But yeah, and then I also have my Philosophy um, bubble bath. But I don't have a tub here, so I don't really use that. But when I go home for summer and wintertime, I will plan on taking that. This next drawer, guys, is kind of my fun one. This is all my Lush products, as well as like some of my bot, like my Body Shop and Body Butters. Right in this front one right here, I have a soap from Bellamina. Um, these are my empty containers right here because I will show you in a second where I keep some of my Lush stuff. Um, this little fortune cookie has a soap in it that has a soap I'm not using right now from Lush. And then all back here are my bath bombs. As well as I have a Veganese conditioner, which I'm kind of teetering if I want to take it back or not. I have my body butters. I have coconut scrub, sweet pea body butter, and then my mandarin one underneath there. And then way in the back, you can kind of see the tip of it right there, is a orange scrub, I guess you can say. Moving away from my beauty counter, I have this huge shelf that Christopher's grandmother gave me. Um, so I have all my nail stuff here. This is like just my tweezers and my instant, my nail polish remover, uh, utensils, stuff like that just to keep it out. I have cotton balls. Down here I have my Tory Burch makeup bag. Right there. And this stuff I just got at a benefit event. Um, not the nail polish remover, but I just got some stuff at a benefit event at Sephora. So those are some samples. And then down here is where I keep the... I'm going to be doing a vegan products I regret buying, but this is just some of the stuff that I'm going through my collection and or I've tried and I've really regretted buying. So um, that video will be up sooner or later. I'm not really sure. But yeah, just keep that stuff right. I just want to show you guys really quickly. This is where I keep some of my main Lush things. So I have a bath bomb, bath bomb, bubblers, foot scrub, mask of magnanimity, lemon flutter, soap, stuff like that. So I just keep it out. It smells, makes my bathroom smell really good in my room. It really likes it. So yeah. And I keep all my face stuff in here. This is actually really dirty. I kind of forgot to clean it up before I filmed this. But yeah. So I just keep my face stuff right here. Hello, camera. So basically, I keep my facial things right here. It's just easier if I have them right here. Um, I have my makeup wipes and trick. If you keep your makeup wipes upside down, they last longer because the juice flows to the first one. Glasses, extra contacts, deodorant, which is upside down. I have toothpaste. Um, I have some contact solution, bobby pins and hair ties, my cotton swabs, feminine, all that jazz. So yeah, that's what I basically keep in there, and yeah. So yeah, guys, that was my makeup collection. It was, um, yeah, it took kind of longer to film than I thought. I'm really not sure how long this video is going to be. I'm sorry if in advance if it's longer, but yeah, I really wanted to film this, and it was really requested, so um, that is it. And let you see it's behind me. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any requests, leave them down below. Um, like this video if you like the makeup collection. Um subscribe, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.